AMC 10A 2020 problem 20. Quadrilateral ABCD satisfies angle ABC is equal to angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. AC is 20, CD is 30, diagonal ACBD intersect at point E, and AE is 5. What is the area of the quadrilateral? So doing geometric problems, come check this out. The graph, follow the directions and label. After you have done the processes, we can begin the questions. So I have labeled X and Y to be variables for A, B, and B, C. Because that might be the first thing that you look at when you look at the right triangle, which is the two legs. But first, let's calculate the area of ACD. Because ACD is given the leg and base, so we can find its area to be 20 times 30 over 2, which is 300. So now you need to find area ABC and we'll be done. But notice that when you immediately look at ABC, you might be thinking that we want to multiply AB with BC divided by 2. But finding those two legs will be quite a hassle. And why is it a hassle? Well, the reason why it is, is because within a right triangle, there are three altitudes. There is one here. I'll call this H1, H2. That's a very bad looking H, but this is an H, uh, H1, and this will be H3. And obviously, this angle is a right angle. And given these segments, we can find H1, H2, and H3 respectively. H1 squared will be A times A plus B. H2 squared will be B times A plus B plus b and h3 squared will be equal to a times b this can be easily proven with similar triangles but i'll not be doing that within this video for time's sake but given these three we can find out each of the heights and which one is the most usable well obviously i want to use the third one the reason why because i see that we have a c segment given to us so we already have the b part out the way we just or wrap or rather, we have the B plus A other way. We have the base, which is AC. And we have the height, which we need to calculate for. Now, with given the three heights, there are two ways to find this area. H1 times H divided by 2. Or H3 times A plus B over 2. Now, H1 and H2 are not given to me. H1 represent A, H2 represent B. But H3 times A plus B, A plus B is given to me. A plus B is segment AC, which is 20. So all I need to find is H3 times 10. What is H3? Well, we're about to solve it in the next upcoming portion. So now that we have assumed this height, let's call this intersection point F. And let's call segment FE X. Because, or I already called that X. So I'll call this, let's say I call this A. So if I call this A, and I know AE is equal to 5, that means AF will be 5 minus A. And EC will be still 15. So we can begin to relate it with our given area of triangle DCE. Because I see that triangle BFE is similar to triangle DCE. Why is that? Because we have angle angle similarity. AC is a diagonal, BD is a diagonal. So they both are 180 degrees. So there are no other lines con constituting the two segments. So AEB will be an opposite angle to DEC. So they're con congruent. And we have two right angles. So we have angle angle similarity. And now that we have this done, we can formulate some ratios. And I'll formulate the ratios right here. So we have BF segment over the height DC, which is 30, should give me FE, the base X over the base of 15. Therefore, BF can be written in terms of X, which is 2X. So BF will be 2X. And now I can begin to apply this formula right here to find out H3. 2x squared will be equal to the segments a times b. a is equal to af, which is 5 minus a times cf, which is x plus 15. Sorry for the messy graph, everybody, but this is true. Just remember the assumptions that we made earlier. And now that we have this, we can begin, uh, or this is supposed to be a plus 15. Yeah, so a plus 15. So now we can begin. And this is supposed to be 2a, not 2x. Please apologize for that. And therefore, this would be 4a squared is equal to 5 times a, 5a, plus 75, minus a squared, minus 15a. Okay? So then, this will be negative a squared, minus 10a, plus 75. And now we can add both sides by this quantity. So we get... Uh, 5a squared plus 10a minus 75 is equal to 0. Divide 5a squared plus 2a minus 15 is equal to 0. Factor it, obviously, a minus 3 times a plus 5 would give it 0. Obviously, the segment cannot be negative, so it can only be equal to 3. 
And since it's equal to 3, we can now find out its area. So H3. H3 is equal to 2 times A, which is equal to 6. And A plus B, which is segment CD, will be multiplied by 20 divided by 2. Well, I have it right here. H3 times 10. I found out H3 to be 6, so this is equal to 60. 300 plus 60 gives 360. So our answer should be 360, bringing us to answer choice D.